Hi, and welcome to this week's Something for the Weekend. I'm Tony, sales manager here at Martin Lynch and Sons, and we've been lucky enough to be let out of the shop again this weekend. So, Dave, quick wave, Dave. Hello. Dave and I are about to go to Holly Farm Business Park. Now, you're probably wondering what Holly Farm Business Park is and what goes on here. Well, one of our suppliers is based here, and he's got a special open day today. So we're off to see Callum, DX Commander. Come on, let's go take a walk. Okay, so we've just parked the car up and we're now making our way over to the DX Commander HQ. Indeed. It's the headquarters of Mr. Callum, Lord Callum, I believe. Yeah. Going to go and see who else is here and say hello to Callum and see what he's been up to. As, as per usual with these kind of open days, it's great for the ham community to support these open days. Yeah, and much as, you know, obviously Callum supports us with his products and... and as Martin Lynch and Sons, we wanted to come down and support his support open day, yeah. which we're doing. And we're going to have a good look around. We're going to probably get a bit of a sneak preview of some stuff. Yeah. Have a look at your shack. There's, I'll tell you what, there's quite a few cars here. I know, I know. It's that on the way in. There was quite a few. Mm. So, uh, yeah, let, let's get in there and see who we can see. Exactly. Right. So let's get this turned around and uh, we're going to go through the... Uh, I don't think we should go through this way, but we will. We yeah, will. We're, we're, we're going to go through this way, straight into the, the, the workshop part. Here we go. So a lot of activity going on here. Here we are, DX Commander Headquarters. This looks to be where all of the action happens. Yeah. And uh, let's see if we can find him. We thought we'd sneak in the back door. Don't mind us recording, do you, anyone? You all right? You all good? Yeah. You're good. Sorry not to say anything. Have you just gone quiet? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We were just saying that we obviously we've popped down today to come support your open day. And any chance of a quick little walk around? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, let's show you outside here. I'll come uh, and join you kind of warehouse area you know we just got all this racking in it's just full of poles most of the time we're expecting a delivery from china very soon so uh that will be full of 12s keep our stock of aluminiums this is where we do the metal working behind you here david where we tap all the all the holes so this was the original DX Commander workshop. You know, any company you've got boxes and just stuff and you've just got to put it somewhere. So we put a massive loft in above the rack. We always have a huge stock of DX10 wire. And then this here is the Dyneema 4mm shock cord. So that won't fall apart, you see, in hot weather. What is your most popular one at the moment? <sighs> They're all selling. They're all going well. Nines yeah. do very well. Is that a UK kind of thing, the nine? Because no, of the or... no, no, no. Um, um, okay, in America, they'll buy a little bit more proportionally, a few more of the 12.4s. Yeah. But the nine is guileless, you see. Yeah. And then people like, yeah. it's just so neat, isn't it? Yeah. We've got a little workshop through yeah. here. This is where all the other bits happen. So all the accessory kits are made here. And you've seen these before. Full all the nuts, bolts, of washers. They've got one of these fancy scales. They throw washers on. It'll tell them there's 17 of them or whatever, you know. And Lockie does all these SO239s and he's kind of packing here. This side. These are six metre benches. And outside is the open day. That's it. I mean, as DS Commander, it's pretty simple. All right. So have a nice day. No problem. There you go. So, as Callum said, it's Commander Open Day and we're going to have a little wander around, have a little bit of a mingle and we're going to take a look at the actual antennas as well because I kind of realised the other day that I'd not actually seen one that had been put up. So let's go and take a look now. Okay, so we're outside now and just taking a look as to what, uh, what's what been set up. So I can see in front of us we've got the RSGB here. Yeah, they're at the RSGB here with um, a few selections of their books and whatnot. And I think we're going to go and have a look at the famous field and see what Callum's done in his field because it's, I think it's a little bit bigger it's, than what it used to be. It, well, I can't remember because I know, <laughs> I've never been here. I'll be honest with you. So it's nice. It's nice that he's done the open day and we can see. Uh, also, uh, just in front of us here, there's a little stand set up here. So there's Cups, a, lot, mugs, a, lot of, a lot of people filming each other because the, the thing with Callum is he's a bit of a YouTube star, isn't he? He is. He is. So, he's a bit famous. Okay, so let's go and take a look at the, the famous antenna field. So we are being a bit cheeky. We're kind of walking around when it's lunchtime. So yeah. a, lot, a lot of people we know have nipped to the cars to have something to eat. But... Uh, as you can see now, this is the famous antenna field. Um, I did hear about that we're going to do a little bit of satellite work okay. here today. And then in the middle there, 18, no, it's not 80, is that 18 metres? That's, that's no, 12, 12.5. 12, 12. 12. That's a 12. 12.5. Okay, so here we go. So we've got the poles set up. So uh, little classic poles yeah. set up here. Oh, 
pole. And then we're going to the nine, uh, which Callum was talking about, the nine metre pole, which and is this one here. The pole is quite nice because um, purely of the colour of it. I mean, it, it's, it's nicely camoed up. And uh, yeah, it looks like a, uh, a really nice piece of equipment. Yeah, I was just, I was just about to say that in, in the fact that the wind's picked up a little bit now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has picked up a little bit. It's quite still earlier, but they are, they're very, very sturdy. And this one, I'm just using the ground it is like that yeah, comes with that's, it. That's that's the ground um, the ground pole because these are all uh, well. This particular one is freestanding. Okay. Um, so uh, if you don't have enough, even enough room to put guys up, um, you you can still make it work. A little bit of post crete and away you go. No. All right. So we'll move across. This is the sig yes, signature no. nine on this one. So we're going to come round this way. Again, freestanding. And freestanding is the way. If you've got a small garden, we know about that, Dave, don't we? Yes. Yes. You just have to be a bit careful when you hammering it in but yeah it's freestanding is 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 the way forward especially if you do have a small garden you saw my garden this I morning did. i did and um you know you might be able to get some radials down but not necessarily some guy rope so and um i think that one of them i don't know which one it is has been up for months and months and months if not years um so the proof is in the pudding and uh, they're, they're still up so a little bit of post creek like i said and away you go okay so oh. let's go and take another look around you disappeared out of shot so this is uh I think we said this was the 12, wasn't it, this 12, one? 12, yeah. It does look fairly impressive. It does. It looks very impressive. And, and the thing that I like about the DX Commander is um, they're resonant on the band, so you don't have to worry about tuners or anything like that. Absolutely perfect for that. Right. Did they say what satellites they're running? No, they didn't. But let's go find out. Yeah, I, I think it's probably going to be Q, Q0100. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Hello. Filming you, filming us, filming you. A bit of behind the scenes at Martin and Lynch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Stuart, creator of Station Master. Yeah. Um, how are you doing today? Well, I'm very good, actually. And you are one of the first ever users of Station Master, Dave, as well, actually. And uh, always been a good supporter. So I thank you for that. Oh, you're, you're welcome. I remember when it was born, when you said, I need to create something that's much simpler and works as it should. And, and that was the birth of, of Station Master right there. And it's come such a long way in a couple of years now. Yeah, well, I, I think it was 2021 I started it, you know, first got licensed and uh, I thought, you know what, there's nothing out there that, that I like for logging. I hadn't looked at all of the other options at that point. I tried N1MM, hadn't even heard of log for om you know, <laughs> so I thought, right, I'm going to build the logger that I want and if other people want to use it. Yeah. then they can yeah and the interesting thing is that probably not a lot of people know is when Stuart was build, building it he purposely didn't look at any of the other login software you built it blind pretty much and you'd not been licensed for too long what, eight months something like that and then you decided to embark on this journey of creating Station Master uh, which has come so far now and you've got version 2 coming as well yeah, version two is available. And like you say, I didn't look at the competition because I didn't want it to be tainted by what other people do. I didn't want people to say, oh, you're just copying them, you know, yeah, it's yeah. just a clone of whatever. So I thought, okay, what do I want from a logging program? I want QRZ, easy access to it, PSK reporter, where's my signals going on FT8, automatic in integration with QRZ and other platforms, and a few other toys as well, mapping, and uh, yeah, it's just grown from there. People seem to love it, and the feedback's been amazing. And like you say, we've now got version two, which is cross-platform. It actually runs on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Yeah, and you don't need to tell me, but uh, explain to the viewers um, about the social aspects of Station Master. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so and one of the really cool features of Station Master is you can actually go to the main dashboard on the website and you don't need to be, a, uh, you don't have to, have to have the software installed to see this. There's a dashboard of what frequency everybody's using, uh, what they're on now, and as they turn their VFO, the frequency updates if they change mode or band it moves around it's sort of i don't like to use the word social media because if they are facebook you know but uh, it kind of is uh, so if you're new to the hobby especially and you want to sort of get involved you're still looking for your people in the hobby it's yeah. a fantastic tool to get you involved and, and to know where your friends are working and go and join them and set up a skeg or a net or something like that it, it, it really it really is amazing and uh, I, I couldn't imagine using anything else so thank you for creating it and um, it was nice to be a part of it at the beginning and uh, give you some ideas and whatnot so absolutely fabulous so that's g5stu check him out and uh, we'll put a little link in the description or henry will put it up now and you'll be able to go visit his website Stuart, been a pleasure yeah love you dave Thank you. So we've tried to have a chat with Callum. He's 
kind of shown us around a little bit. Uh, but as you can see, he's very busy today. So we're just going to go straight to those that actually get all the products out, create the products, basically keep the company going, really. Exactly. Not not just go on the telly. <laughs> so here you go. So over to you. Thank you for passing me the mic. Um, I'm Loki. I'm Gina. We're at the DX Commander Open Day. It's not a thing we do every day. It's our first one, in fact. Uh, we just do a lot of stuff, you know, stocking, making things. Gina makes the uh, accessory boxes. That's, you know, the nuts, the bolts, the plate sets. No, I do the plate sets, never mind. I do I do a lot of emails. Um, I'm very, very friendly over email. Um, I try to be anyway. A lot of people love me. And you're famous for the smile. I'm famous, yeah. I do a lot of smiles on the boxes. Yeah. Sometimes they'll have glasses. I've done them. You have. So you might actually have uh, an imposter smile, which is mine. A Gina original, if you will. Is yeah. there a colour difference within the... Uh, no, just just no. black Sharpie. But we, we differentiate them with the little tiny um, coloured circles. So like classics get yellow, expedition reds. But this was before we had any of the labels. So yeah. Do, 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 now... Yeah. Tell the difference. Here we go. We even pin the stickers. Stick the pins. No idea. Yeah. Stickers Look at that. Brandon's good. Buy at. Do you sell these? Oh, well, we yeah, we do. Buy them at Martin Lynch. Hammerradio.co.uk. See, I oh, know you sell this, but I'm not a patron. <laughs> that happens, doesn't it? See, that's why I thought we'd come straight and find out what goes on at the X Commander. Get it straight from the horse's mouth. Right, we'll leave it there. Okay, so uh, we're at the uh, DX Commander's uh, Open Day. It's been absolutely fabulous. But one person I did bump into, uh, which is Darren. And you might have heard about Darren. Um, I mentioned uh, his QRZ page and the settings that he has for the 101. So, Darren, good to see you today. Thank you very much, Dave. And uh, as your numbers on your QRZ visit... Yes, it is. Yeah, everything, everything anyone wants to know, uh, they feel free to go onto the uh, QRZ page and email me if you've got any questions on audio. Amazing, amazing. And uh, we also had uh, somebody come up to us today that watched the video and implemented the settings and uh, it's changed the way they're playing radio. So what, what, what do you have to say about that, well, Darren? I'm very flattered to hear that. Obviously, it wasn't why I put it on there in the first place. Um, I felt there was a lot of bullying going on on um, uh, you know, on some of these Facebook forums and thought um, anytime anyone answered, asked a, a simple question, uh, you know, you'd regret that you did it. So I thought I'd put mine open for all, uh, no questions asked. And, and, yeah. and basically, um, you know, any questions, there's an email address for you and uh, I'll answer anything. So. Yeah, and you must have put a lot of work in to get those. Just how long did it really take to, to get those settings that... And when you look at them, you think they, they, they're not going to work. Um, but when you put them in and you can listen to yourself or you get some good or get some audio reports, yeah. the quality of them is amazing. Yeah. Well, thanks for that. That's yeah. great that you got good results out of it yourself. So yeah, I'm glad you're flattered that you used it, yeah. Dave. But um, yeah, if it, if it helps anyone, I suppose the DX10 uh, was mainly what I learned on. Um, and everyone, you know, has those knows that the DX10 non-transmit is pretty much the same, uh, if not identical to the 101. Yeah. Uh, so it pretty much was flawless from one to the other, other than a bit of uh, the way the AMC works uh, on the TX is a bit different um, on the 101, uh, yeah. you know, to the DX10. Um, and you'll see those, the, the, you know, the change between yeah. the two on the on the pages you've seen. So Lovely. Uh, uh, and also, you mentioned the AMC. Now, you're now a member of the Golf yes. 8 AMC. So, uh, how does that feel? Quite amazing, isn't it? That uh, we, we're talking about the club with AMC and uh, that, yes. But, Absolutely. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, well, it, it's quite nice to be involved in something. Um, I'm pretty new myself. Um, um, you know, it's only been uh, since COVID, really, that I've been yeah. licensed. I think it's the same for a lot of people. Yeah, I miss the camaraderie of everything, yes. not being in a club. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. And I'm not really a club person as far as going to AGMs and things like that. So it's nice that it's something online. Perfect. So, uh, you know, ideal for what we do you in a club and doing the hobby at the same time. So, Well, it's um, great to see you today. Thank you. And, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll meet soon. So yeah. take care. Look forward to it. All Thanks right, very bye -bye. much, Dave. Yeah, thank Tony, you. what do you want? Uh, I just wanted to know how your day's been. It's been good. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> So right. I'd just like to say thank you very much for coming up to say hello. No, that's fine. As I said, you've always supported us, so we'd like to come and support you as well. Amazing. And it's been a good day. We've really enjoyed ourselves, actually, today. It's been yeah. one of the best socials yeah. in the calendar. Yeah. And we'll do it again next year and see if we can get some more sideshows. Bit of fun. You know, maybe the old military vehicle, ham radio types. We'll get yeah. a couple of them in. Who knows? Fun. I've, got, I've got a bit of a sore throat because there's been a lot of talking since we've been here. It's been great. It's been, it's been like a net. 
it's, 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 it's been like a, a real net of it's, actually it's like it, yeah. genuine 160 yeah. meters yeah Arna. basically yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. fantastic yeah. <laughs> thanks for tuning in guys and uh i'll see you next year here we go thank you very much <laughs>